Next week, your opportunity to watch a special documentary on cancer written, produced, directed, and edited by students of the Lima South Magnet 8th grade Sci-Tech class. The project was an opportunity to learn about the various aspects of filmmaking, but there's a bigger picture. The students also learned about the intense impact cancer can have on a person, and they become, became passionate to help. In today's OIO in the Community segment, Jennifer's with three of the individuals involved with this project. Well, I wish you could be with us right here in the TV44 studios right now because it is filled up with some incredible minds. We have several of the students from the Lima South Magnet Sci Tech 8th grade who are involved with the documentary. Two of those students are joining us here on the set along with one of the teachers because they recently completed a 30-minute documentary focusing on the topic of cancer, an incredible program. They did a great job, and we get to show that to you here on TV44 in the coming weeks. But first, I want to take a moment to uh, introduce you to some of these students and one of the teachers who were involved. To my immediate left is Michael Bishop, who is the director of the project. Next to him is LaKayla Lazenby, who did the hair and makeup for the project. And then to my far end is Mrs. Christina Fisher, who is an art teacher who was also very involved in this documentary project. And Christina, let's start with you. Why don't you explain to me about um, this special documentary that your students have recently completed? Sure. Um, the documentary is called Living On, and there was a committee formed with um, Mayor Berger and the schools. They wanted to bring science somehow highlighted in our community. We have um, William Fowler, who is an astrophysicist who's from Lima, who ended up winning a normal Nobel Prize. And so they wanted to somehow incorporate that and his connection with OSU. So they brought OSU in, and this year they really wanted to highlight um, Dr. Caligiri, which is a cancer professor down at OSU. And in his statement, it talked about having a cancer-free community. And so that's what really started the committee talking about how everybody is touched by cancer and they wanted people to be able to tell their story. So the idea of a documentary came up for our students to be able to tell some of those stories. And it's really neat to see, as I said, you're going to have a chance to see this uh, next week here on TV 44, our local individuals from the school and in the community talking about how cancer has either touched them personally or touched their families. Michael, you as the director of this project, why don't you tell me what did you have to do? Give me a behind the scenes look at what it took to make this happen. Um, to make this film, we had to sit down with a lot of people and like we had to try to get them to open up to some like hard feelings mm -hmm. that they did, probably didn't want to talk about. And um, then after we were done with all of that, we put it all together and we took um, pieces and parts of it that were like really good and we just edited it all up and added the slideshows with all the um, voiceovers and that's how we did it. So you interviewed quite a few different yeah. people. So each one you had to sit down and talk. Was that, was that tough to get them to, to talk about those difficult things in their lives? Um, some people, yeah, because of how recent the event was, they were like really hard to like, they didn't want to talk about some things, but other people were more open because of how long it's been since the occurrence. Mm -hmm. Michaela Lazenby served as the position of hair and makeup. Of course, in the television business, you at home, you watch you watch the finished product, product but there's so many behind the scenes important aspects. And what, what did you have to do in that role uh, to, to make this what it is? Well, basically, all I had to do was make sure they look all right and make sure there's no glares around their faces and stuff. And that's what I had to do. So did this mean you had to go to every one of the interviews? Did you yeah, have to be present? Yeah, and it was it? kind of emotional for me because mm -hmm. like when you see how they went through what they had to go through with their family members or their self, it's kind of hard to watch sometimes too. Christina, as you've watched this entire thing unfold, which it's a 30 minute project, but it took several months to happen. Mm -hmm. What kind of things did you see happening, not just with these two, but all of the other students? What, what did you see happening through all this? It was a really interesting process because we made them apply for their positions. And so they had to sit down um, with Mr. Fallis, our principal, um, Mrs. Spencer, the science teacher, and myself, and they had to interview for their jobs and explain to us why they were picking that job and what they thought they could bring to it. 
And then once they were assigned their jobs, it was really interesting seeing each one of them grow into that position, um, really wanting to work well with the other parts of their team, and just bringing them, I think, closer together as they were sitting through even just our first interview. We had all the kids in there for the first one so they could see everything happening. And they were so respectful, so polite, and just listening to these stories that were being told. Like like Kayla said, they are very difficult and hard to hear. And just the maturity that came about as we were starting this process, it's been really amazing to see them transform. Well, I personally have really enjoyed uh viewing it myself and I have several hundred already have if you go to the it's on YouTube and it's been viewed several times you had a, an unveiling which was pretty neat uh, you had the whole red carpet experience yeah. that's that's great well we are going to have the opportunity to share this with you coming up next week here on Faith and Friends you're definitely going to want to make sure you have a chance to watch you're going to see the full documentary living on written interviewed hair and makeup editing, producing, directing, all of it done by the Lima South Magnet SciTech eighth grade students. What an awesome opportunity for them and what a great uh, finished product. We can't wait uh, to share that with you next week on Faith and Friends. Christina, LaKayla, and Michael, thank you so much for joining us on our show today. And thank you for, for everything you did. You didn't just do, I, I think, a neat technology project. You did something that really impacts the community because cancer is a big deal and you you went at it with a really good focus, and I know that you've done something special for our community. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And thank you, Christina, for your oversight as well. Back to you.